bonus feature here. I'm going to go over the ability to do a remote using the Skype program. So this is Skype. You can sign on um, just by clicking the Skype icon over here on the left, and this should open up. The account is called WMFO-DJ. The password is on the bottom left of the screen if you ever need it for any reason. Um, it should remember the password, though. Basically, what you can do here is type in someone's Skype number, um, either an email address or Skype username. It may take some some trial and error to get this to work, or you can have the person call you. The screen name is just WMFO DJ, as you can see in the upper left there. Go ahead and give this a, a, a call or have them call you. So obviously, if you've ever listened to a typical phone call on like a phone line, it sounds like garbage. There's a lot of technical reasons for that. Most of it has to do with the historic nature of the microphones that they use. But Skype does have the pretty cool functionality that it will be a much higher quality call than the phone. It uses better wide man codecs. The only caveat that you should be aware of is the, the quality of the call is highly dependent upon the microphone. Here I'm going to use my little MacBook Air, uh, which has a built-in microphone with a lot of echo and noise cancellation on there and two kind of nice speakers here. But the performance will be best if they use a, a real microphone and a headset there. So you can either help them get set or quite honestly, I, I believe you can use an uh, iPhone as well as long as it's connected to a Wi-Fi or data network. So you know that, that will influence the quality on the receive side of the call and in turn the, the quality of, of what goes out on air. So encourage people to use a real headset to get over the, the kind of echo problem, which you, you've no doubt heard if someone has a Skype call and has their speakers right next to their microphone, and it's not like a MacBook with some really cool technology in there to make that work better. Um, and that will help your, your quality of your call. Once you're all connected, you can go ahead and use it just like you would any other phone. If you look here, you can see the channel number 10 in the default profile is called web slash Skype. You just have to bring that channel up. So this button, the set function, won't function, but basically the uh, talkback and preview will function just like the phone. So if you go ahead and do that, you'll hear a little echo, and I can now talk through the microphone, and it'll obviously look better if the computer isn't sitting right next to you. But they should be able to hear you, you can hear them. And then when you're ready to put them on air, same thing as the phone, hit the on. Again, they get the mix minus feed when you turn the phone on and you bring this up, they'll be able to hear you on air. And then to hang up, you just do the usual Skype hang up thing. So this should be pretty straightforward, but uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email the Ops List and we'll help you out here.